To prepare a gradient, you need pure sperm 100 and pure sperm buffer to dilute to your desired concentrations. We recommend 40% and 80% or use the ready-to-use pure sperm 40 and 80. After the gradient preparation, pure sperm wash will be needed. Pipette 2 milliliters of pure sperm 80 into a sterile conical centrifuge tube. Carefully layer 2 milliliters of pure sperm 40 on top of pure sperm 80. Make sure not to disrupt the layers, creating a sharp interface between them. Layer the ejaculate over the pure sperm 40. Prepare two gradients if the volume of the ejaculate is more than 1.5 milliliters in order to avoid overloading the gradient. Two gradients can also balance each other in the centrifuge. Spin for 20 minutes at 300 times G in a centrifuge with a swing-out rotor. Do not use the brake. Be sure to calculate the correct RPM to give 300 G in just your centrifuge by measuring the radius of the centrifuge rotor. Then use the equation found in the product manual on our website. After centrifugation, the ejaculate is separated into seminal plasma, immotile dead sperm, debris, epithelial cells, leukocytes, bacteria, immature and senescent cells, motile sperm, sperm pellet, selected motile population. With a Pasteur pipette, Aspirate the pure sperm 40 and most of the pure sperm 80 using a circular movement. Follow the surface as it descends. Change to a new sterile Pasteur pipette, aspirate the pellet, leave the rest of the pure sperm 80. Transfer the pellet to a new sterile conical centrifuge tube containing 5 milliliters pure sperm wash. Suspend the pelleted sperm in pure sperm wash. Centrifuge for 10 minutes at 500 times G. Calculate the correct RPM for 500 times G for just your centrifuge. After centrifugation, aspirate the pure sperm wash leaving one milliliter.
and then resuspend the sperm pellet. The sample is now ready to use.